In this demo, you're going to see how tinynav.js works uh, with Drupal through a theme called Chamfer. So Chamfer is a Omega sub-theme. It's a HTML5, 960 responsive adaptive grid, uh, which is all just a nice fancy way of saying it'll be one theme that works across every device, hopefully. And so what we've done is integrated tinynav into it to make the experience on mobile that much easier. Uh, so first you want to go to Project Tiny Nav and read the description of what it is. Um, I didn't actually make the Tiny Nav project, I just wrote this integration module so you can apply it to any theme very quickly. So the original project is actually called tinynav.js. Uh, basically what you end up getting is the ability to, and this is the easiest way to see it, is you grab a site of browser and you'll notice those top links there have converted themselves. And so to see what this looks like in Chamfer with it turned on, see Chamfer adapts and screens the real estate available. It's going in. And then once we hit this snap point, you'll see it actually switches its navigation to Tiny Nav, which is the drop down. Um, and so that's you know basically your tablet and this starts to get into phone territory. So give you a quick preview of what Chamfer gets. So you see, okay, this would probably be what it looks like on a mobile phone. Um, refresh that because I updated the theme. So uh, you can see your book paginations at the bottom. And so this is very mobile friendly. We can go through, in this case, our course, um, more or less just by you know, placing your, your uh, thumb in the same position, left or right, and then swiping to scroll down. And so minimize the amount of direction you have to actually travel to you know, experience the course. But at the same time, go back up to full, the full size, and that's very readable. So, so this is kind of what Chamfer gives you. Um, but let's look at how tiny it works here. So I'm going to go back to the module. Okay. And then, so you'll download the module, and then you have to go and get the library um, from the tiny page. So first thing you want to do is install the module, which is just tinynav.js, so install the module. And then after you install it, under configuration, I mean user interface, you'll see tinynav.js. Now I've tried to provide some default settings that make sense. Um, then this is a selector that makes sense primarily in Omega, um, but I mean, you can make this whatever you want. So basically you define how, what you want it to replace with the menu. So where your menu is in the interface. Uh, the next thing you want is a media query. Um, you might want to Google how to write a media query, but I've just provided a basic one here. Uh, effectively, this is saying only load this style sheet um, you know, that's related to TinyNav when the browser window is smaller than 980 pixels. So that's the easiest way to interpret that. Um, it's best to go with a mobile first type of an approach. And so that's what this is doing. This is only applying the style sheet to you know, effectively the mobile site. And then this style sheet is invalidated once you get beyond 980 pixels wide. So that's going to take you out of the realm of uh, the tablet world. Again, this is just you know some initial settings. I believe it's actually 740 by default or something. But you can change it to whatever you want. Uh, active class is a property that's uh, specific to the tiny app project, as well as you know, show header instead of active item. So you can look up what those do um, in the tiny map. So these are the settings that I have, and they're more or less the default. And so what it ends up doing uh, to look at the code side of it a little bit is you're basically pulling up. Sorry, I had a pause. I'm actually funny. So basically, you're pulling up the library, and so you have your CSS selector is defined it then adds in the default state CSS, which is to assume that this is um, you know, not to display the navigation. So this is your default state. And then there's a media query state, which is the mode is only going to be applied to mobile in this instance. So um, you can see you basically tiny nav is on and one and your selector is off and then it just flips. Um, so it's pretty basic in the way it implements it. Then there's just a a couple of lines of jQuery. Uh, the other nice thing is the way this is done is um, 
it, it'll degrade gracefully. It just won't apply itself. And so if they don't have JavaScript, then it just won't do anything. So that's basically it. You just have your, your form that has the different options available. Um, it should work in other themes, and let's switch themes just to, to illustrate that fact. So, go to appearance, and then switch to the bar, which is the traditional theme. And so, let's try and target this one over right here. So, I'm going to inspect, inspect them, and you'll see that this has a Block menu block one as the ID and then it's you know UL menu. Right? So we're gonna go in our configuration settings, use the interface, tiny nav, and then replace this portion. This is an ID. Um, max width, let's make this seven hundred. And so we should see no change at the moment. And as I drag this down, this is not an adaptive theme, so there we go. So with one simple line tweak, I've now applied it to this thing's present. So a uh, very cool project, highly recommended, especially as you're out there producing mobile themes uh, that are adaptive.